Hello toy fans! Today I'm going to be reviewing an absolutely adorable and very unique and innovative game called Feed Fuzzy. This is by a company called Getter One Games. They make some really awesome things, but this game just really stuck out to me because I've never seen a game quite like it before. So what essentially it's about is you have to feed Fuzzy. Um, Fuzzy is apparently a chipmunk, but in my opinion he looks more like a squirrel. But Fuzzy is symbolized by this adorable, plush little creature. And he's got a zipper on the back. And you see the way he's got a little hole in his mouth here. So the point of the game is that you have to roll the dice, and then you have to use the dice, the, both the number and the color, to determine how many acorns to feed Fuzzy. So if you look here, there are many different color acorns. We have five colors. We have orange, green, purple, blue, and yellow. And there are five of each color, I believe. Yes, five of each color. And interestingly enough, you see the way that there's a zipper back here? This little head actually expands and you can fit every single one of these acorns plus the two dice into Fuzzy. So that's like a great carrying case thing. I thought that was so cool that everything actually does fit in here. But anyway, the way that you would play this game, and this game is intended for children that are three and up and two to four players, is that you have to divide the acorns up evenly. So you could mix them all together in a bowl and then give every single player the same number of acorns. And you don't need to color code it. It's not like, you know, one person has to be green, one person has to be blue. Instead, it's actually better if you mix the colors up so everybody gets a mix of colors. Um, I would say the best thing to do would be just to mix them in a bowl or in a bag and just pull them out blindly. So let's say there were two players, right? You would give each player a certain number. So there's 30, there's 30 acorns here. So if there were two players, you would give everybody 15 acorns. Um, and that's just the way it goes. So you just divide it evenly and then if you have any left over, um, then you just put them to the side. So anyway, once everybody has a certain number of acorns in front of them, like let's say, for argument's sake, that, you know, I had, we'll just do this, just for argument's sake, will give me, what, like five, six, seven of them, let's say, right? Let's, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'll take a purple one as well. So these would be my acorns right here. And I have a little bit of each color, right? So then I would take the die, shake them, and it says, see, it says number two, blue color. So I'd have to look at my acorns, and I do indeed have two blues. So I would take these two blue acorns, and I would feed Fuzzy. And the way you feed Fuzzy is you just pop the acorns into his mouth, and this is very hard to do with one hand. It's very easy to do, oh, there we go. It's very easy to do um, with two hands, but not that with one hand. But there we go. So the point of the game is that everybody, which is each player would have a turn, and you just keep going around and, and trying to get rid of your acorns. So let's say that I was to roll a hand, right? And the next time that I rolled, I hit one and orange. Um, well, I do have an orange acorn, so I could definitely feed Fuzzy that. Now, when it goes around again, it would say one wild. And what that means is that I can just select a random acorn to give to Fuzzy. So I could give him a green one, for example. Okay. Now, eventually, you're gonna roll something that you don't have. Like, I've been very lucky recently, and I rolled one purple. And then I can give him the purple acorn. But eventually, you're gonna roll something that you don't have. So let's say that I roll two greens, for example, and all I have left are two yellows. That means that I cannot feed Fuzzy and I have to forfeit my turn and then the next player would go. So the first player to get rid of all their acorns and feed Fuzzy all their acorns, that is the person who wins. The first one that gets rid of all the acorns in front of them. What's interesting about this game is that even though this game is recommended for between two and four players, you can play this game by yourself. I mean, there's no, there would be nothing stopping a kid from just taking all 30 acorns and just starting to roll the dice and just continue to roll the dice and play the game until they've given Fuzzy all the acorns. Um, so it technically could be played by yourself if you wanted to. Um, what I also really like about this game is that it, just like it says on the box, it really does help kids understand color recognition 
uh, teaches them how to count, and it also helps with like fine motor skills by like trying to put the acorns into Fuzzy's mouth. And then of course you have to recognize the colors on the dice and the numbers to know how many um, acorns to feed Fuzzy. So I really like this game. It's very unique. It's very different. I've never seen anything like it before. It is intended for very small children, but I think it's a really wonderful game for small children because it is so cute. And also, um, it's for ages three and up, but these acorns are not super, super tiny, so it's not really a choking hazard. I mean, again, you wouldn't want to give this to kids that are really young, like a year old, but um, they're, not, they're not really dangerous. They're not teeny tiny pieces by any means. Uh, this game retails for $24.95, and you can find it in Barnes & Nobles, and on Amazon, and on a couple of other websites. I highly recommend this. I think that it is just so cute, and so innovative, and just different. And I love games like this that um, go beyond the standard, you know, board or card game. And I just think that Fuzzy himself is really cute. Like, look at those lies. <laughs> and it's cool that, like, literally every single piece here, including the die, can fit in this. And he can just, like, carry him around like that. That's really awesome. So, thank you for watching, and please check back to my channel soon for more reviews. Bye.